Despite her electoral walloping, the facts say Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by about three million. But not the way Donald Trump tweeted it. I won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. So right after the inauguration, he said, I will be asking for a major investigation into voter fraud, including those registered to vote in two states, those who are illegal. We are going to protect the integrity of the ballot box, and we are going to defend the votes of the American citizen. Thank you. Never mind that credible evidence of even small-scale fraud is extremely rare. Never mind that some in his own party opposed the effort. There's no evidence that it occurred in such a significant number that would have changed the uh, presidential election, and I don't think we ought to spend any uh, federal money investigating that. Those who believe in rampant fraud often cite this research paper suggesting non-citizens may vote heavily enough sometimes to change results. But that paper's analysis has been strongly criticized by other experts. There is a respected Pew report saying millions of voters are registered in more than one state, but the author says that's mainly a problem of sloppy record keeping. There's a big leap between an out-of-date record, an administrative inefficiency on a list, and the act of voter fraud. Voter Excuse fraud. me, then why did you write the report? Nonetheless, leading the president's new commission will be Vice President Pence and Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach an unabashed advocate for voter identification laws and a man who says he's caught people voting in his state and another at the same time. My office prosecutes it. I just got that prosecutorial authority a year and a half ago. We've already filed nine cases and we have six guilty, guilty pleas. Again, there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud in the United States. The claim is bogus. Still ahead here on CNN, Russia's president is proving that he's not a Johnny One Note. Vladimir Putin's unexpected concert in Beijing. We'll listen.